ライオンズ TV Hey guys, let me introduce myself. My name is Ryan Ishida. I was born and raised in Japan. I'm a local Japanese food and travel full time YouTuber. Today, I will introduce my favorite Japanese 7 Eleven's food. As you may know, there are many kinds of good food in Japanese convenience store. Because of that, probably you will have a hard time to choose the foods. So, hopefully, this video can help your next Japan travel. By the way, recently Japanese rainy season Tsuyu has started in Osaka too. There are so many rainy days now, and motorbikes riders are having a hard time. Luckily, it's a beautiful day today. I'm heading to Namba Dotonbori 7 Eleven and try to show you guys how the Dotonbori food street looks like as well. I believe many restaurants have started their operation and will be many people there. Anyway, let's see. So, let's go! Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seno. Oh. Alright, so today I'm at the Dodonbori. This is the Ebisubashi Bridge. Yes, you see the Goriko sign over there? That's a really popular one. Well, I'm planning to go to 7 Eleven, which is right next to American Village. Yeah, just over there. So, beforehand, let me show you guys how the Dodonbori food street looks like. And let's go to 7 Eleven. So, let's go. So compared to two weeks ago, obviously, more people here. Well, but recently, there are not so many new victims of COVID-19, so I think maybe people are more optimistic, I believe. Dodonbori Food Street is just over there, so let me show you guys how it looks like. So let's keep going. Compared to two weeks ago, more restaurants are open and more people are here. However, still compared to last year, it's really, really less people. So the last time when I came here, the Kinryu restaurant was still closed. But yeah, finally it opened. I think that's a good news. Even those restaurants are open, but not so many customers were there. Some restaurants prepared a special discounted menu too. So that was how the Dotonbori Food Street looks like. And the 7 Eleven is just over there. That 7 Eleven is bigger than usual one, so I believe I can find more food. Yeah, just have a minute walking, so let's keep walking. Speaking of the recent situation in Japan, Universal Studio Japan will start general admission from this weekend. Still, Super Mario section is not open yet, but the section's opening was supposed to be in this summer. I'm not sure if they can follow their schedule. But I am thinking of making video about it, so please look forward to it. ta -da, Here we go. Yes, so let me grab some food. Oh, this potato salad is my favorite. Definitely, I need to get this. Yes, this shrimp with chili sauce as well. Oh, I've never seen this hamburg steak. Price is cheap as well, but maybe next time. Oh yeah, this stewed pork? Really tender. Let me get this. Those are my favorite chickens. It's super easy to eat, like onigiri rice bowl. There are several flavors, but today let me get this one. Wow, this one is interesting. Hot chili spice for chicken. I like spicy food, so let me get this. Yes, dessert too. Mochi and matcha chocolate cake. Oh, this one is a soupless noodle that I ate in Kyoto Hotel. It's really good. I really recommend this. Oh, this one is interesting. Grilled chicken with yuzu kosho pepper. I love yuzu kosho, so let me get this one too. They have a bunch of frozen food as well. I will try them in the future video, so please look forward to it. Well, it was 1,800 Japanese yen, and I think I spent too much, but uh, oh, you know, the last week it was my birthday, so this is my birthday gift to myself. I can't wait to eat it. Let's go home. Let's go. 
All right, so I came back home. As you may realize, today I tried a new angle. Ryo and Ishida always try new things to make the video better. But anyway, please let me know by the comment below which cam angle you like better. Yes, so those are my favorite 7 Eleven food. Before I eat those, this one? Oops. <laughs> So this ebi chili and buta no kakuni, pork berry, and yakitori. So those three, I have to microwave it. So hold on one second, let me microwave it. Oh, by the way, 7-Eleven's food, you don't have to put in the dish. You can just directly microwave it. Useful, right? So hold on one second, let me microwave it. All right, so it's ready, microwaved it. So those two are one minute and a half and 40 seconds. Don't worry about it. If you buy those at the 7-Eleven, you can ask them to microwave it. So if you are staying at the hotel, you still can eat. Sweet. All right, so yes, that's right. Ta-da! Ichiban! Woo. So let's drink. Bye. Ah, psycho. So let me show you guys one by one. You know, since we have beer, first it's grilled chicken. Ah, oh my goodness, it smells so good. It's super easy to open it. Let me put it in there. <laughs> Ah, smells like charcoal flavor. Well, I know it doesn't look good, but tastes good. Oh, I realized this angle is kind of hard. Huh? So we have yuzu kosho. Have you heard about the yuzu kosho? Well, it is spicy. However, really good citrus flavor. So let me place those two chicken. Be kind of weird to look. However, it's really good. Ta-da! This is how it looks like. So let's eat. Itadakimasu. Oh, oh Well, it is kind of hard. It is a regular chicken. However, with charcoal flavor, always good with beer, right? It's like a yakitori. Well, the taste doesn't like yakitori though. Hmm. This chicken is not soft, but this kind of chewy chicken with beer, I love it. Hmm. <laughs> Psycho. So this is a chicken. I'm not sure how this mopan angle works. So the next. Shrimp with chili sauce. Yeah, I know. It sounds already tasty, right? So let's open. Yep. By the way, today I eat without rice, but uh, with white rice, it's good. Ta -da! So this is how it looks like. There is one, two, three, four shrimps, but really big. Wow, smells so good. Itadakimasu. Oh, this is Oh. It's a bit spicy though, but oh shit. Psycho. Shrimp flavor with sweet chili sauce. Well, if you're thinking of this for the dinner, maybe not enough. Even you eat a lot of rice. But if you are looking for something to eat with beer, perfect stuff. Mm. Oops, I finished it. Um, I think I was supposed to leave the food in front of me. That's how this mopa angle works. But uh, <laughs> no more. Yes, it was that good. Anyway, this one was finished. So next, my favorite food is buta no kakuni. Buta no kakuni is really popular Japanese food, which is a stewed pork. I love this. Let me show you how it looks like inside. Uh, yes. It looks so tender, right? Again, this is really good with rice. Itadakimasu. Mmm, mecha oishi. When I put this into my mouth, it's already melting. It is that tender. The taste sweet, but it is savory too. Yeah, this is kind of like a char siu pork on the ramen, I believe. <laughs> well, not sure. Mmm. Uh, well, I think I was supposed to leave the food and then put it in the front, but uh, <laughs> I finished it again. <laughs> yes, this was that good. Uh, of course, this chicken was not that bad, though. Hmm. <laughs> well, so since nothing left, let me leave it to the side. 
<laughs> All right. Those chickens are set. And those are the dessert. So let me introduce this. So this is a potato salad, but it's not the regular potato salad. It's a mentai potato salad. The potato salad with spicy cup roll. I love potato salad. <laughs> Tuesday. Potato salad, already I love it, but with spicy cutlow, even better. Yes, yeah, so it's like a mashed potato. So this is how it looks like. There is a small eggs over here. Those are the spicy cutlow. <laughs> I know, it doesn't look that good, but it tastes pretty good. So, Mmm, it's so good. You know, spicy roll is really good with mayonnaise. One well, of my favorite flavor of onigiri rice bowl is spicy roll. And then this one tastes like that. If you get the bento box and you want to have something more, try this. It is really good. <laughs> wow, well, I finished this again. So. Let me place it on the side. So those two are dessert. Let me eat this chicken and this hot chili spice. So speaking of this sarada chicken, this one is really popular for young Japanese people. This one became like an onigiri rice bowl for us, especially for the people who want to lose their weight. Yeah, compared to onigiri rice bowl, I think chicken is healthier. I'm not sure. But that's how they said. This one is really easy to eat and good for snacks. So that's why this one gets really popular in Japan. Yeah, if you love chicken, definitely you should try this. And this one, it seems like spicy powder. To be honest, I haven't tried this, but this is my favorite. And this one looks interesting. So let me try that. So let me open this powder first. Oh, I see. Maybe this is not for this. <laughs> it's okay. Who cares, right? Yeah. As long as it's chicken, I think it works. So let me try this. Oh, oh, interesting. I'm not sure how spicy it is. So let me place this chicken first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not that spicy, I think. I'm not sure what's inside. I believe it's a garlic and chili and onion chips. So let me try. Ah! Ah! Mmm! Yeah! It is spicy! <laughs> Well, if you are not good at spicy stuff, this is not for you. So let me open this. This is how you can eat. You can just open like this and you can eat like this. This is really useful because your hands are not gonna be dirty. There are many flavors and then this one cook with charcoal flavor. Hmm. What is it? I spent this for 100 Japanese yen, so I don't wanna waste it. Let me place it on top of the chicken. Yeah, I guess I can handle this much. Oh wow, this one is really spicy. Well, I don't want to trash this, but if I eat this, I will have a really hard time tomorrow. Mm. Mm. Maybe I can try one more time. Only one more time though. So, place the powder and... Oh my goodness, yeah. I'm pretty sure this one is enough for me. If you like something spicy, maybe you can try this. But if you don't like something spicy, don't get this. You will waste your money. This chicken is good though. Alright, so now two stuff left. One is matcha chocolate cake and the other one is mitarashi dango. So let me start with this tsutsumi mitarashi dango. So let me open this. There are three mochis with stick. Look at this mochi. <laughs> if you are mochi rubber, definitely you got to try this. So, itadakimasu. Mm. Yes, when I was a kid, mitarashi dango was my favorite mochi. This sweet soy sauce one. Well, as you may know, we have many kinds of mochi in Japan, such as kinako mochi, anko mochi, mitarashi dango, yomogi mochi, etc. But this mitarashi dango, my 
favorite since I was a kid. Yeah, I still remember. I have two brothers. When I was a kid, my mom took us to the public library on Saturday. You know, that was kind of like day for reading. Well, not proud of myself, but when I was a kid, I was not really a good child. So I didn't like to go into the public library much. However, there was a small mochi store and whenever we went to the library, on the way to go home, my mom bought us the mochi. Mm. But it was not only mochi though, either the mochi store or cheap sweet store. That's right, so whenever I went to the public library, I was expecting to get either mochi or cheap sweet. You know, that's how the kids, right? I totally forgot to show you guys inside. So let me show you guys. So this is how the mochi looks like. And inside the mochi, yes. So this sauce is really sweet soy sauce flavor. It's really good, my favorite. Hmm. And at the end, it's a matcha chocolate cake. So this is how it looks like. Crown. Mm. How do I explain this taste? Well, it is really rich matcha chocolate. You know, the mitarashi dango, it was good, but I think this one tastes better. <laughs> mm. It's already my last bite. Mmm, oh shit. <sighs> Alright, so that was really good. Well, I kind of feel guilty that I spent 1,800 Japanese yen for convenient food. Oh, but I wanted to share many kinds of food with you guys. I really enjoy the food too. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully. Please let me know by the comment below if you like the regular cam angle or today's cam angle. Yeah, it will really help me. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so that you won't miss my new video and surprise live stream and if you like the video please share the video with your friend more power to the channel more videos all right so stay safe healthy and happy see you in the next video arigato so bye bye